hallelujah welcome again to our monday 15 minutes podcast remember i always ask for your indulgence if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel to please subscribe right now how do you do it press on subscription then you see a bell comes out press on the bell and then you are a subscriber what do you have to lose nothing what do you have to gain everything like what now every time the podcast is ready and then you return from your busy schedule then youtube will have dropped you a notification to let you know that you have a podcast to watch and then you can always follow us in the 15 minutes podcast thank you so much and i want to wish you a happy new year and a prosperous one and i pray for you that this year will be the best year you have ever had so far in your entire life in the name of jesus now today i want to start us on a very long series of teaching which i titled the 25 secrets of the rich the 25 secrets of the rich now uh, i'm still going to be taking my text from the book of matthew 25 14 to 30. you remember the parable of the talent hallelujah but uh, you see i i want to introduce the episode today and uh, because i want to uh, introduce it i will be i will be reading from matthew 22 6 to 7. uh you see in matthew 26 22 6 to 7 uh, that's what I want to why that's why I want to convince you to please stay with this series of teaching with this series of podcast now listen to this uh, I actually have your children and your grandchildren in mind you see you can make them you can do them a great favor and what do I mean by that now Solomon said you can train a child to become rich is that not wonderful and it's, it's amazing that you can Solomon said you can train a child to become rich which is what he's saying in Proverbs 22 6 to 7 now here what Solomon said in Proverbs 22 6 to 7 he said train up train up a child in the way he should go a child not an adult train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old when he is old he will not depart from it he will not depart from it now, when he said train up a child, what is he talking about? What does he mean by train up a child? Is it to train up a child to know how to greet elderly people or to when he when he is in the church, he should not eat chewing gum? No, 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 no. That's not what Solomon is talking about. In verse 7, he explained what he's saying. He said, the rich rule it over the poor. The rich rule it over the poor. And the borrower is servant to the lender. So you see, he's talking about training up your children to become rich. Now, meaning that people don't just fall into riches. They are trained up to become rich. They are trained up to become rich. And that is why I want to share the 25 secrets of the rich. The 25 secrets of the rich. The 25 secrets of the rich so that you also can train up your children so he said the rich ruler over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender in other words do your children a favor so that they will not be ruled by the rich because they are also rich and then they will not live as borrowers they can be lenders now the training is asking you to give to the child is financially related the word train refers to the engine or the tractor that moves the wagons or the trailers but erroneously we call the whole system a train now what solomon is saying is that lead by example and the child will follow now let me explain that to you you know you know you know when you want to travel and you go to where we call train station and then we call the whole system train no the whole system is not actually trained now <clears throat> the tractor in the front is called the tractor the tractor in the front that draws all those about 30 40 wagons at the back 
is called the train that thing engine where the driver enters and they start the 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 the, 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 the whole system and move it that system in the front that draws all is called the train now where you enter and people passengers sit down or where they put the load is called the wagons that place is called the wagons now the whole wagon the whole system is not the train is the tractor in the front that is the train the wagons at the back follows the train so when the train moves the wagons follow so when Solomon said train up a child when he says train up a child what he's saying is that children actually don't learn by what you are teaching them children learn by watching your activity and then they follow suit but you see unfortunately most of us were not taught by our parents in Africa how to get rich all that we learn from them is spending the challenge is they did not learn from their parents too except to spend what this also means is that the difference between the rich and the poor is information because training is all about passing across useful information are you hearing me now now what i'm saying here is this in africa i did not learn my parents did not train me to be rich i learned how to spend money from the way my parents spend money but you see actually i have parents that became rich i can tell their story how they became rich my father was one time a tailor left the house to become a petrol dealer learned how to become a petrol dealer under somebody eventually became a, 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 a petrol dealer himself then he eventually owned trailers and then he became rich now you see that's actually what solomon was saying hallelujah that's actually what solomon was saying in proverbs 22 6 to 7 but do you know what now i was not conscious of that i was not conscious of that because my father never sat me down at any time and said look this is how to live financially in africa we only learn how to spend money in fact the truth is that we don't actually need to learn how to spend money but we just grow up to learn how to spend money we are not taught or trained to create wealth because you see our parents we are not aware of Proverbs 22, 6 to 7, and our parents were not aware of what I'm about to communicate to you. Now, if you know how to do it, then you can consciously train up your children. If your children are grown up already, you can you can train your grandchildren. You can train your grandchildren. So that's why you need to get what I'm saying. So now, if Solomon said, turn up a child in the way that he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. The rich will let over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Now, what it simply means is this. The difference between the rich and the poor is information. The difference between the rich and the poor is information. The difference between the rich and the poor is not their family background. It's information. It's information. And you see, still reading from the same Solomon, in Ecclesiastes 9 11, we can still prove that. Look at what Solomon said. Solomon said, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. Ordinarily, the race is actually supposed to be to the swift. Yes. If a man can make 100 meters in 9 seconds and you can make 100 meters in 9.3 seconds, do you know what? You will never become first. He will always come first. That is the race is to the swift. But Solomon said, I return and saw that the sun. That the sun is not. That the race is not to the swift. Now the battle to the strong, of course, the battle is supposed to be to the strong. If you have more weapons, you have AK-47, and all I have is machete. Don't tell me who is going to win and who is going to lose the war. Of course, the man with AK-47 will win the war. I that have machete cannot win the war. Neither yet bread to this wise. Did you see? Now what I'm bringing out is this. You discover that Solomon is actually twisting everything to the other side. He said, he said that the race is not to the swift. In other words, you turn it this way. It means that the race is supposed to be to the swift. He said, no battle to the strong. In other words, the battle is supposed to be to the strong. 
now the next one says neither yet bread to the wise in other words if you are wise you always have bread you always have bread that's the meaning he said not yet riches to men of understanding wow that's what we're going to now mean that if you have understanding you always have riches you always have riches the next one i said not yet favor to men of skill of call men of skill will be always favored now what he's saying is this if you're going to give a job to two people one have 20 years working experience and the other one have two months working experience who are you going to favor of course the one with 20 years experience so meaning that favor is meant for men of skill if you're a serious employer you employ the man that have 20 years working experience compared to the man that have two years working experience if you have the money and you want a good job for your corporation did you see so he was twisting everything to the other side now why he's twisting everything to the other side is this he said but time and chance happening to them all wow time and chance happening to them all now meaning that if a man that can make 100 meter race in nine point in nine seconds is in the same race with me who can make the race in 9.3 seconds i automatically know that he will come first i will come second but do you know what unfortunately the man developed boils in between his lips i mean his laps and then because the 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 boil did not heal on time and the day of the race comes up he will not be able to participate in the race so the time has come he had the boil he couldn't participate in the race so i will be in the race and i will win the gold so you see time and chance has happened to me time and chance has happened to me but do you know what i cannot live my life to time and chance so what do i do i will go into more training and improve on my skill and try to beat nine seconds probably beat it to 8.9 seconds if i can beat it to 8.97 if i take more rigorous exercise and training and i'm able to make it in in a in a what's it called in a 8.9 seconds i will beat him in the same race so i'm not going to leave that to time and chance because you see time and chance is not in my control i i'm not going to be the one to put boil inside in between his laps the boy can come before the race the boy can come after the race so he said i'm not going to leave my chance my life to that but do you know what that is exactly what believers have been living up to most christians have left their life to time and chance you cannot leave your finances to time and chance no you cannot now if you cannot then you see you have to take what i'm going to be teaching in the next few weeks very seriously and you do know what unfortunately i am just out of time right now so in our wednesday 15 minute podcast we begin to build on it have we introduced this subject in a nutshell so for me here i want to tell you that jesus christ is lord and i will see you in our wednesday 15 minutes podcast